Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Wadge, hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get the performance of a desktop gaming PC on a laptop. Specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at an in-depth analysis of the Alienware graphics amplifier, which is essentially a external unit that houses a desktop GPU and interfaces with the Alienware laptops. And essentially what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at the pros and cons of a, a setup like this, take a look at the, the uh, 344 by 1440 performance on a large widescreen monitor to really determine what kind of performance you're going to get from an external box compared to the internal graphics card we have on the Alienware 15R2. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now essentially the Alienware graphics amplifier is an external graphics card adapter for your laptop and inside we have a custom PCB that interfaces with a PCI Express at 4x speed so that's quite a bit slower than the standard 16x speeds that you find on most modern day gaming motherboards but even with the limited bandwidth if you put a powerful graphics card you're going to find significant performance differences compared to your internal graphics card built into the laptop. Now in addition you also have a 461 power supply that comes equipped with a two 8-pin PCI power connector so you shouldn't have any problems in terms of whichever graphics card you want to use both in terms of the power capacity and how much room you actually have inside the box. Furthermore you also have four USB 3.0 connections which is excellent if you want to plug in your keyboard and mouse directly into the amplifier and thereby keeping your notebook as mobile as possible. Now on the anterior portion of the box we also have a small fan that will hopefully feed in cold air from the front of the chassis directly through the GPU. The only downside is because it's a small fan, it is quite loud and ungamely. Now the way the laptop interfaces with the external graphics box is via an external six foot PCI Express connector that's running at 4X as we mentioned before. And as you can see over here, we're gonna be using the GTX 980 for all of our testing. And what we're gonna do now is run some benchmarks and we're gonna compare the results that we get from the external graphics amplifier versus the internal GTX 980 that we have built into the Alienware 15 R2. Now, firstly, we're going to take a look at the Fire Strike results, basically running on the laptop screen itself. And uh, here is the results over here. Basically, on the 980M side, we get about 8,300 points, and we get over 10,634 points using the external graphics amplifier supplied with our GTX 980. So, pretty huge difference there. Now, let's actually use our external monitor at uh, 3440 by 1440, and we're going to use a heaven benchmark by Unigen set the details to high and with no anti-aliasing we get about 38 frames per second on our 980M built inside the laptop and our GPU on the graphics amplifier is getting over 50 frames per second so a huge difference over here especially when you start climbing up the resolution ladder in terms of quad HD and ultra HD resolutions you're definitely going to need a powerful graphics card and this is where the graphics amplifier Amplifier is going to really excel compared to anything you're going to have into a mobile laptop. Now moving forward, we're going to take a look at some real world gaming benchmark results using Fraps. So at 3440 by 1440, Rise of the Tomb Raider at very high detail settings, the built-in GPU gets about 31 FPS versus about 47 FPS using the GTX 980 with the uh, graphics amplifier. So pretty huge difference there. Uh, both are kind of playable, but certainly a better experience on the external graphics graphics card side. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, very high detail settings. Again, at that high resolution, we're getting around 40 FPS uh, built into the laptop and around 50 FPS with the external graphics card. So again, playable performance in both regards, but again, you're going to have a lot more potential and a lot better experience with the external graphics card solution compared to the built-in graphics card that we have inside the 15R2, even though the GTX 980M is one of the best built-in uh, GPUs you can have on any laptop right now. But essentially, this uh, amplifier becomes pretty darn important if you're going to basically use this as a desktop replacement uh, PC setup where you're going to have a nice high-resolution monitor with a laptop and you want to have the performance to back all that stuff up. But really, on that, guys, that's really it. I really do like this kind of setup because, one, it's a very portable and convenient solution. It's an all-in-one package. And if you don't want to build your own PC, 
PC or get a desktop PC for whatever reason, if you travel a lot and want something convenient and powerful, uh, this would definitely make a lot of sense. Getting the uh, 15 R2 uh, has a lot of different features, a lot of different customization options, and even a lot of upgradability. So in a lot of ways, it does make sense to get a laptop like this if you want a portable system. And then if you still want the uh, power of a desktop grade gaming PC, you can just get the graphics amplifier, throw in any GPU that you like, and uh, really go to town with uh, Ultra HD resolution gaming or anything in between. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Love to hear all your thoughts. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and check out our in-depth full review of the Alienware 15 R2. But really, thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.